Hey yo guys, how's it going? My name is Michael. Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. So, this is it, guys. Ah, uh, this is it. Final episode. Alright guys, so let's start The Wolf Among Us, episode 5, Cry Wolf in 3, 2, 1, now. I mean, your eyes and the teeth, you're not really supposed to do that, are you? We pulled out Dumb's throat. We pulled out his th throat. Okay, so I'm making sure. <laughs> okay, so you guys remember that we went to the Crooked Man's lair. Snow. See, I didn't burn the tree. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? No. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. Yeah. That to you. <laughs> he gets a steak. Oh, yeah. I got shot in the back. Mm hmm. Oh, God, Season Bigby. three. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart. The only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Where's the morgue? Well, I don't even Make know what that wait. is. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Yep, I said I would what make sure. Have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. I remember threatening him. Telltale Games presents a te telltale story by blah blah blah, directed by blah blah blah. <laughs> the Wolf Among Us. That's the vanilla unicorn. No, it's not the vanilla unicorn. <sighs> Wait. Wrong game. <laughs> the big pet. No, that's still the wrong game. You've come a long way. You must be tired. My envoys are correct. You haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax 
for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... Okay, since uh, you guys can't see the choices, I'm going to have to restart. Main menu. Okay. Episode five, Cry Wolf. You've come a long way. You must be tired. That's not the right thing, I believe. And if my envoys are correct. Yeah, because we, um, ch because Bigby chased the guy who killed, um, you know, them, the, the hookers. Okay. Oh, well, come on, guys. <laughs> Can we just start the episode already? Episode 5, Cry Wolf. You've come a long way. Yeah. Duh. You must be tired. Eh. I'm, I am in real life. Do you know? I have a Mountain Dew by my side. And if my envoys are correct. Yeah. <laughs> Sheriff, relax for a moment. Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very. It's elegant. We're not friends. Carpaccio. It's lobster, sirloin. Don't misunderstand the situation here. We are not friends. You're in no position to offer me anything. On the contrary, Sheriff. And I don't wish to contradict you here, but your initiative and mine have been friendly for a long while now. Ever since I came aboard these shores, you know, Fable Town has been very accommodating of my humble ventures. Just what are you talking about? I've just been left in relative peace, I think puts it best. So I'll tell you my own way. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of calling. Jersey, put that down. <laughs> don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I now? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. A witness, perhaps. Your servant over there told me you did it. That's a fucking lie! I didn't say anything like it's that! Fine. All I it's said fine, was boy! It's fine, boy! your town, and nothing wouldn't happen without your approval, all right? That's it. If only that were true. Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you, the man 
matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen. But who do you think committed these crimes? I mean... <laughs> Play Mario was you, it was Tweedles, it was Georgie, it was Georgie. It was Georgie, all right. Well done, Sheriff. I'm sorry I doubted you. What? However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Yeah, I killed him, so what? I'm just gonna... Get your hands off me! Ha! <laughs> You killed those ways I just boom Jack misinterpreted. So let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this. And then you told me to kill blame me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks is. You're just gonna let him do this. So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensure. I'm gonna take. Oh no! I meant to what say take, take both take of them. Bunker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie? Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage after everything I've done for you? Don't you mean under the bus? You can't just hand me over. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'll give a fuck if I'm the one? Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here. Get out. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. But I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that hall at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lock here before I let that shit happen. Grab the crooked I'm man. Of patience, crooked man. I don't have time to fuck around here. This could have gone so well, but you just had to complicate things. <laughs> me? To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh, it's Bloody Mary. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Oh, really? Um, here's the knife. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Got him! Now! Well, he's dead now. Oh, oh, oh my god! That looks so bad! Whatever. Okay, so, so far in this episode has been crazy. So far. Oh, shit. I know.
Oh my god, no way. That one. Fuck, what was that? <laughs> Me? <laughs> oh, really? Okay, whatever. I don't really care about them. Was there really that much blood coming from Georgie's, um, you know, bottom bladder or gall bladder, whatever? Come on, we can't stay here. Hang on, I need a minute. Okay. Senses. <laughs> Crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Oh, really? Or maybe you just like. It's like again, guys. Really? Again? This has to happen again. Sorry if you guys are annoyed by me having to go out the app and just go back in, but yeah, this is what has to happen. So, The Wolf Among Us, final episode. <coughs> okay, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Again, this has to happen. I'm annoyed by this already. The app. Like, it's the final episode. I just want to get it over with. But 
can't now. I can't if this is can't go on like this. So yeah, in the comments below, tell me what um what game I should play. Uh, oh come on! No, like I am done. Like okay. Okay, you know what? I found a part. I think okay. I have an idea that we could try out. I'm gonna go to the, th the um one before that, the fight. So when the fight happened, or the battle, whatever you wanna freaking call it. <coughs> yeah, so boom, boom. Out in the open, that's what's called. This one. All right, yeah. Imagine seeing a werewolf in your house. Come on. Right. Okay. 
And there's my clothing. Deli, grocery store, soda, and all right, whatever. All right. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Come on, we can't stay here. Hang on, I need a minute. Okay. want to protect this guy you know what he did I'm not going anywhere it isn't his fault he's a murderer faith and Lily he's the reason they're dead look I know he made a few mistakes we all have what he made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons and then he killed them you're wearing one yourself you know what Isn't I can't lie a little knowing that man of murdered of course it does Girls, so it's all my fucking fault then. I you fucking. Ah, you're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too. <laughs> you know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to. You can't fucking blame me for that. Oh, give me that bullshit. You're responsible. I go, I am. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course. The big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. Mm -hmm. You think that'll help? Yeah, I think it'll I help you. your wound. Still the same old fucking moron. Go ahead and kill me then, but it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Dirty don't. It was them or Vivian. What? So you tell me. Wait, 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 Lily, wait, wait. What? Do you still think I had a fucking choice? Wait. How is she involved in all this? This is the original. Oh, the girl yeah. with the ribbon. She I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take, take it, it off. off. Couldn't, couldn't talk, talk about, about it. it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. I promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to well, her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. How could you do this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us, or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. 
go right ahead. Uh, kill her then. What are you doing? Really I won't dispel. kill her. I'm not, I'm not killing her. This game, Georgie. I won't kill her. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. Wait, what? I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking stuff. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. What? I look at Narissa and I hate myself. Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. What Wait, are what are you Vivian? doing? What don't is she doing? Who is she? Vivian. Oh my no. god. Holy crap. Oh my oh. god. No, no, what no, just no. happened? What just happened? Why do you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian. Just... Telling me, yo. <laughs> Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just. Uh, uh, oh. Same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? He's gonna have uh, worse. Uh, worry. He's gonna get worse than Good. Georgie. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. Should I? You wanna finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one. That's what you want to do, right? That's not who I am. You know sure what? it's not. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. I know what I did. I, I need... I can't... I don't want to kill this guy. You chose to let Georgie suffer. What? You're just gonna leave me here? I'll send someone for your body. Both of you. Who? Fuck you! Piece of shit! Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. So we're going to the foundry. Wow. I didn't want to finish him off. I just wanted him to suffer for this whole good, for this um, reason. Enter the door. Shepherd Metalworks late night. Let me guess, yep. Oh, mm -hmm. that opened so easily.
baby wolf. Uh, who? <laughs> the big bad wolf. Yeah, me, boy. I mean, girl, whoever the uh, Bloody Mary. Okay. You used to be something. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. What's this? Workbench examine? Oh, wait. That's the silver bullet. Silver. Yeah, silver. The big bad wolf. Hello? Oh my god. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Yeah. I see you made it here in one piece. Yep. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. Go ahead. Oh, capable hands. Don't worry. This won't take long. Yeah. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you will persuade him. Hit her. <laughs> wow. What a man. Ooh. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? <laughs> Distractions, distractions, distractions. Okay. Let's go there. Oh my God, is this a big... Or high drop, however you want to say. Oh my god. Big bad wolf, or big bad wolf.
What's happening? What's happening? Yo, what's happening? Yo, what? Wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Whoa. Trying to ride me. Oh, that's easy, yo. Boom! Oh, I know this is. This is easy. Just blow the house down. My head would feel so bad. Boom! And then bite! Mm -hmm. Is that. Are they literally glass? Okay. Wow. Oh my god, look at his like face. This is like the bottom part of his face. So much blood. Oh, so that's the business he need to take care of? Okay. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This girl. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You sure about that? Yes, I'm quite sure. Well, you're you correct. Bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front. I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Should I? At least agree on that. I will have a trial. Are we clear? You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny. Coming from a guy pulling his gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain. I believe Georgie. Story. Maybe you didn't carry it out. I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. Are you There's sure? A lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to be ah. that, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this 
You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of them. Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just... Um, it's about me? justice. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. You. Like everybody Two knows people. that you ordered the hit. Oh yeah, he's dead now. I let he's him die. Dead, isn't he? Yep. I let him My die. Being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think <laughs> I'm that stupid? <laughs> yeah, I think he is. So, shall we get going? All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Oh yeah, Such she'll be pleased. I understand why she'd want to keep you. Cuff him. You're under arrest. For the murder of yeah. Of peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. Mm-hmm. Punishment. Punishment. Okay, yeah. Wait, but I'm starting to think about Crane. Ichabod Crane. What about him? He murdered Lily. Or did the crooked man order? I okay, you know what? Who cares? Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are you sure he's coming? Yes, he's You'll coming. Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> he's back. Kiari, you just got spit on. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble at the Crooked Man's place. No, he didn't make it easy. Yep. It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. I he turned into the him. real big bad wolf, a, a real I were werewolf. Not that you did well. Like a dog, you no, know, like a, an actual wolf, like. <laughs> Oh, it's about time you showed up. I'll throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting what do you for? Have to you say for murderer. Yourself? You Mine killed Lily. She was my Where the fuck do you get off? Faith? You think you have the right to just do this to people? Said. You're a fucking yes. crook. You should be ashamed. Shit. Everyone, can I have I wish I could growl. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> for now, it's just like. I know normally we'd schedule a formal like hearing, it. but. Considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. Yep. Crooked Man is charged with the murder as of Faith and... As I Faith already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porter, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain? You called the shots, okay? Ba, so ba, you're saying ba. Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is it? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, sure. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Georgie paid for what he did. In the end, there was a fight. He bled out from his wounds. It's over. So he's dead? That's what you're saying? Yes. So you see, the culprit has been punished. Yep. No that doesn't has. change anything. We'll deal with it later, he but called right the now, shots. The one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't. I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her finish. And you can have your say. Got it? If you Boy! With your crooked <laughs> ass head. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily. Which Georgie carried out on your order. Inciting yep. violence against various members of the Fabletown community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding yep. Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And resisting arrest. Oh. Yes. Now is there anything you would like to say? <laughs> First of all, I have nothing to do with Faith and Lily. No! 
Bullshit. Yep. Hell you stop the charade. You know you're I know you're responsible. You've been behind all of this from the beginning. So cut the shit. We all know who you are. We know what you've just done. Just give it up already. Can I just throw him down the witching well already? Against this government and most importantly its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where it fucking belongs. Yeah, Let's boy. We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the you're fuck? Really what? what? If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make some can I just throw him down the we well now? Doing things I'm, I'm just no more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He's a pimp! He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of bone fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you going to get to your point or what? Yeah. <laughs> like everybody's been but he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. But for whatever reason, sure only he could understand. He murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This is such bullshit! If you were so offended by it, why'd you cover it up then? Yeah, boy. It had nothing to do with you and your shit, and why'd you try to protect him for so long? What cover up? I never made any attempt to hide Georgie's criminal activity. Yes, you did! Actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell me. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. Those were willing to cooperate. Yeah, and your goons attacked. Did you forget that part? Yep. They get a bit carried away sometimes. Nah. <laughs> they don't get carried away. They got more than carried away. They're psychopaths. They're mental. Yep. Nothing. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. You're not serious. I know what you do to people. I've seen it firsthand. What you did to Faith. The way you manipulated her. Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith wanted I'm sorry, to? Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distaste. Can I just throw him down it's the witching well, like I said before? Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. Because you are. The government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniffing on street corners. I was there to look out for you. Mm. Yes, but wasn't I? We didn't abandon anyone. We've been trying to help them. Really? What about Archie Greenleaf? Oh my Where's god, not her. Common. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that mattered in any way. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help all fables get glamorous. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Big Bean refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow. Why would you want that? Don't blame Snow, she had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. Yes, it did, actually. I've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. 
Yep, we all do. That may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yep. <laughs> yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. Things haven't been great for a while, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. Yeah. You go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. We're not gonna tolerate this shit anymore. The debts are wiped. His business is closed. He's done. Right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Why are you clapping? The sentiment is surely appreciated this way, but it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to Georgie was working for you. Bigby got a confession, a confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would be important if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke, especially given Bigby's history. Okay. What are you talking about? What about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. It feels right to me. Right. Yes. This man tormented all of you for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Sure You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did because he mm -hmm. was working for me at the time. Yes. Yes. Of course. Just shut, shut up. up. Fuck up already. Yeah. Just shut it's up. It's okay. Whatever you're getting at, get to it. Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for twenty guns. Since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. What happened with Tweedledum? I made a mistake. He was attacking me and I... I just acted. I didn't think. That's the I ripped I his throat out. I feel happy. How about the way he treated poor Tweedledum and when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? You're the one on trial here. Don't try to turn this around on us. Yep. Crane <laughs> was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you dear Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. <laughs> That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. Simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own crisis. Right? Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I everyone just shut the fuck up. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to them. This is how it's always yes. been. See, this is exactly what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the... Bigby! Miss White! Excuse me, I... Yeah. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? No! Just shut up, I please! I, I need to say something. I meant to say, go ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come.
come here. Just shut up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Uh, Vivian killed herself. Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily. That's a lie. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Mm. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. This just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you know? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me? Me too. So, that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So try to latch on to whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, man. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? Oh He's my gosh, shut up. We don't have to kill anyone. Yes, he we do. Lock him up no. Forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. Oh. That's not good enough. Maybe he will be more if he isn't he stopped. I don't care. So we get rid of the We can send him Everyone, away. listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? Look, I'm making the call. Why should you? He is the only officially appointed representative here. Right. Bigby should decide. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want this one. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. So... Just do what you think is right. Okay, so let's see. Rip his head off already? Throw him down the witching well or lock him up? No. Rip his head off. I want to rip his head off so bad. Oh, come on. I will. I'm gonna rip this kid's head off. Let's do this, baby. I'm gonna rip his head off. No. Oh my God. <laughs> Got it. Okay. The Witchlands luxury, luxury, oh yeah, luxury, whatever, okay? Apartment, Woodlands apartment, whatever. Oh. I don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Clay. Poor 
worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. 10,000 million years? Leaving for the farm in a few. Oh. You might want to. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Okay, okay. okay. Alright. Right. Should I? Um, okay. Wait. Did you just see that girl at the the woman with the ribbon? There's. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. I'm sorry about what happened with the crooked man. I didn't. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Okay. <laughs> Oh, really, Colin? Colin? <laughs> he has alcohol, too. I love that. <laughs> I love his character, too. And there he goes, just walking off. I could have killed him. You know, I could have killed the crooked man inside the foundry or the metal workshop, the workshop, whatever it's called. I would have hit him and then just kill him, you know, it's just, okay, whatever. Okay, so this is it, guys. Oh, God, Jesus. Why are you so rude, boy? We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. I like, I want to kill this kid right now. Oh, thank you. It's I've been pretty busy around here. I know. Well, for morning, morning boy. Day. Shit! Just go grab that, would you? It's just a farm. You don't have to be so dramatic about it. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'd get another chance, but Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money. But she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night. Poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her. Yeah, sure. No, I couldn't take them all with me. And she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. Good for her. <laughs> What's it like it's good. Farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I have not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Your dad broke the rules, TJ. You're not allowed to stay in Fable Town without a glamour. <laughs> okay. Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm not. Some of the animals aren't comfortable around the holes. So you wouldn't know, would you? No. Okay. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Oh my hey, god, baby. I miss him already. Where's your friend, Collie? Where's a fucking pig? He gets to stay. Oh, gets to stay. <laughs> That's bullshit, Big B, and you know it. You're fucking corrupt. You are corrupt. You lied to a you lied to a um a woodland a fable town official. Oh. Oh, it's Nerissa. <laughs> Still wearing Oh, yeah, I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's okay. I get it. Oh, 
Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What? What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. Oh. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We're gonna find a way out. Make the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. It's okay. Just calm down. Yeah, take your time. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe a try. Try again in a few years. You, what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. Georgie didn't do mercy. You know that. He could have been reasoned with. I was counting on that. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then. had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Get the well, you I said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I, I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Oh, wait. So she was the one... Oh. I walked her over here, and I left her. So that ring in her mouth, that was you? Yeah. I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. So you... You started all this. You know I what? pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting. Oh, wow. When we suffer, we do it in silence. Yeah. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. I'm sorry, Marissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I just... I go out there my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. At the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know. They'll come down. We'll see. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened. When no one else would. You protected your friends. No matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left faith at your doorstep because 
better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith War 1 2 would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about that. I said you wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. So wait, she's, so wait, wait, was she glamored to be Faith, but was she, f wait, so wait, 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 one sec, one sec, what just happened, was that Faith's voice, I think that was Faith's voice. But oh my god, wait, yeah. So Faith was glamored to be Narissa. But no, so I know what's going on. I know what's going on. So basically what happened was this was Faith was glamored to be Narissa and Narissa was glamour to be Faith. And then Lily was Faith was glamour to f to look like um Snow White. So wait, wait. Narissa is Faith. Yeah, Narissa's Faith. Yeah, that's what happens. Beast, oh, special player stats. You lie to him about, oh yeah, and then slapped him, yes, I know. Dumb, I killed. He's dead, I ripped off his head. <laughs> yeah, boy. Georgie's dead, you left him to die. He assembled up his... Okay. Lawrence. You prevented him from dying. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm done now. Like, so I hope you guys enjoyed this let's play. Um, please leave a like and subscribe and turn on the bell post notifications, the bell icon on the YouTube app so I never miss an upload that I do. And wow. I hope you guys like the series. I might play The Walking Dead. I don't know. I have to find out if I want to or not. But I hope you guys enjoyed and peace. Peace out.